a Cards with Michael production. Hello, YouTube. Today we have a special occasion, a welcome to the world, Miles Andrew Cotinez episode. Uh, Miles was born two days ago on October 7th to loving parents Jesse uh, Co and Bobby Martinez. Congratulations. Um, today we'll be opening a box of Zendikar Rising Collectors in Miles's name, generously sponsored by Uncle Michael or Uncle Sitrembo. We're not sure exactly which one we'll be referred to for now. As a heads up, this box opening will be a little bit slower than you guys might be used to. It gives me the opportunity to talk about the cards, really appreciate the cards. Jesse Mom is a long time and talented Magic the Gathering player. And Uncle Sitremba believes that magic will be a strong bonding point between mom and son and thus has gone ahead and sponsored this video, uh, this Zendikar Rising Collector, to be opened in Miles' name. Um, and, you know, I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity. Um, and without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome again to the world, Miles. All right, let's do this. Okay, so... Um, Uncle Michael did ask me to make sure I sleeve up and box up every single card, so that will be done. Um, for, for this episode, we'll just do normally uh, the normal cards that I um, sleeve, which are just like the mythics and the expensive stuff, and we'll work on sleeving the rest later. Alright, Zeneca Rising Collectors. Today is August 9th, the day I'm recording this. Um, uh, these guys are going on TCG Player. Uh, for about $225, eBay for $230, so kind of in that price range. Um, and the contents of these, all right, we do have these two Expedition box toppers, which are um, non-foil Expeditions, all right? And even though this kind of goes against what a lot of other YouTubers do, I like to open them first for you, Miles. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Here we go. And of course, all prices that you see today are just today's prices, so It'd be really cool when you do watch this video, Miles, and you, you kind of, you know, take a peek at how prices have changed. Boom! We have a wooded foothills to start! That's so exciting! It is a fetch land. Um, one of the things with these expeditions are the artwork is just so gorgeous, and the frame of these cards is so nice. This might be the first magic card you've ever seen before. Uh, <laughs> and not all magic cards look this pretty, I promise, but... This one's gorgeous, so let's go ahead and give it a sleeve. Whoa! <laughs> Sleeves just fell all over. They're really slippery. Slip and slide. All right. Go ahead and sleeve a little ding already. All right, go ahead and sleeve it up. And on to the next one. So, uh, what we normally expect are these non foil expeditions. The fetch lands. Uh, why is this a fetch land? Well, you pay one life and you can search your library for a card. It kind of fetches a forest or a mountain card. Alright, let's look at the next one. It is... Boom! Oh my gosh, a scalding tarn! <laughs> oh, we're doing so well. Doing so well, Miles. Alright, here we go. On to the next. Now, we have 12 packs left. Now, these are... These are considered collector packs, which are supposed to be the most, I don't know, the um, ultimate way to add unique and exclusive cards to your collection. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff, basically. They have foils, they have rares. These are the most expensive packs that you could buy right now for this new set, and also the most exciting to open. So let's see what we can get. Let's see it. This is pack number one. Each of these packs always starts off with a few foils. Um, these are commons, and you can tell by that black symbol. Alright. Oh, and this is just one of my favorite arts in the set. Look at that. Cleric of Chilling Depths. Alright. Expedition Champion. I like that art too. This guy is very brave and courageous. Alright. And a Spare Supplies. Oh, man. This is the world of Zendikar, which is a world full of adventure. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot to explore, but perilous, perilous. Here we have Squad Commander, all right? And the way you go out and explore is you have these parties, these groups of people. Um, parties are made up of warriors and clerics and also mages and um, rogues. Here we have a Rune Crab, all right, look at that. Beautiful. And this is our rare showcase card, a Lotus Cobra. 
Look at that art. Look how cool it is. Showcase cards are cool. Of course, it's a little bit slightly different. We might see a, diff a standard frame rare later. Here's a pickaxe and a merfolk, or sorry, a thieving skydiver. Now that is a gorgeous card. This is what we call an extended art card, and it happens to also be foil, and it also is a rare, so this is a great card as well. All right, give that a sleeve. And this is a token. So each of these packs have a, has a double-sided token. We have an insect on one side and a core warrior on the other. All right, so that was pack one. How'd you like it? We'll keep going. We do have prices added to these, of course, um, just to get a feel for how much this was worth back in the day. I am assuming this is watched years from now, of course. Here we have a base camp. Just to reiterate that, you know, this is what a party had. Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, and we're wizard. Here we have a forest, an inscription of ruin. This is an extended art rare, one of the cycles of extended art cards. All right, a Luminarch Aspirant, and this is just a what we call a standard frame foil rare. Look at that, look at that. Here we have a showcase card, the Spitfire Legac. It looks almost comics uh, story-like. Just really, really cool art. It's one of the things that was really, really one of the special standpoints of this set. Is just how cool the art is and here is a planeswalker i won't be able to explain the rules of planeswalkers but just know they are very cool very very cool this is a borderless art version all right a foil and look at that we have a foil lotus cobra so the difference between these two is well this one is shiny and this one isn't isn't that cool all right very awesome and of course our token this hydra isn't that creepy all right, we'll sleeve up this Lotus Cobra. And on to the next pack. All right. So we have our foil common tormenting voice. Okay. A shell shield. Gnarled colony. Gnarlids are the bears of the world. Of Zendikar. And we have a Marasa brute. A Ruin Crab, a Bayon Veal. So there's a thing called dual sided cards, and these are cards that are both lands and spells. All right, and this is one of them Bayon Veal. So it can be an instant, and it can also be a little tap land. All right, now we have Mountain, a Tazri, Beacon of Unity. So this is what we call a Mythic, and you can tell because there's an M here to represent Mythic, and there's also this is kind of orangey like, all right. That's how we know this is a mythic, and that is a super cool mythic. Tazri is one of the legendary heroes of this world, and um, he, she helps oversee basically the, 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 the rebuilding of this Seagate, and this is an iconic card of the set. All right, we have this Inscription of Ruin again. These are just some sorceries that are very powerful and have the ability kicker that let you do multiple things if you had the mana. You can pause the video to see what those multiple things are. But we will continue on. All right, here we have a Canopy Bayloth. All right, so these are showcase cards. There's always two common or uncommon showcase cards that are non-foil in these collector packs, and they're always just super cool art. And they all feature the mechanic Landfall, which is whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, insert some effect. Okay. Here we have ah yes, a Branch Loft Pathway. These were especially mentioned by Uncle Michael to just mention just how beautiful they are, just how cool they are. So all of them are, are lands that can tap for two different colors, all right? When they're in your hand and you're choosing to play them, you can either play the front side or the back side, all right? But from then on, it, it can only tap for that mana. It can only tap for white if you choose the boulder loft pathway side. It can only tap for green if you choose this side. And I think, you know, this is one of the coolest things about this set. It's just how cool this borderless art. So that's what this is called, the borderless art. There's no borders. And um, the art is just gorgeous. Just pure gorgeous. All right, put that right there. And we have a foil here and an Akiri. Fearless Voyager. She's also one of the heroes of this set, but she... Uh, short story short, passes away in the trailer. So there's that. And we have a Drake plant token. Okay, on to the next pack. Preferred Tactics, Pyroclastic Helion, Marauding Blight Priest, Prowling Felidar, all right. K 
Canopy Bailout. These are all just some commons and uncommons. Umara Mystic, kind of a creepy looking Merfolk. We have another Merfolk here, a Merfolk Wind Robber. All right. And a Swamp. So this entire set had always has these full art lands. So this is just, there's no other kind of like border or whatever. And um, these are nice and foil. And each of these packs has one of these, if you haven't noticed already. Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. This guy is so weird. He's like this uh, vampire who can fly. Just an overall weird dude. Myriad Construct. Now these are just a, a little artifact creature of value, but look at how weird these uh, he's constructed. Those things are called Hedrons. And maybe Uncle Sit Rumble can explain to you what those Hedrons were used for in a different story. Now we have another rare, our Skyclave Shade. All right, nice little rare here. And another foil sit, uh, bit, Spitfire Legac. These are common, so we'll see them appear often in these sets. And another inscription, so part of the series of cards that have these special effects if you're willing to pay more mana. Great, and look at that. An Angel Warrior token. Just a beautiful card, even though it's just a token. So tokens are used to represent permanence. Um, there's some spells and creatures that create them, and you'll see them if you ever start playing a little bit more seriously. For now, just know that they are just cool art little things. And look, I love the art. Look at how dynamic this Sky Dancer looks. Look at how dynamic this Geyser Mage looks. They're both in motion. In that. And here we go, another card in motion. You can tell this Sentinel broke off. It's a gargoyle. It broke off some type of wall or structure. The rocks are still cracking. And, uh, ew, okay, we have a little skeleton here. That's just in time for Halloween. We have a McKinney Stampede. So this is our sorcery and land. And that is just so cool. That's a butte, a mesa. All right. We have this island, which people are calling the Toilet Bowl Island because that's what you see when you flush the toilet. I'm going to confound a conundrum and another pathway. This is the exact same pathway that we opened recently, but this is, or sorry, no, this is not the exact same pathway. This is a different pathway, but this is not that cool borderless art because as you can see, there is a border on all the sides. All right. Um, this is what we were calling a standard frame rare. And here we go for our showcase cards, showcase one and two. And our another rare Felda Retreat. This is a place where the cats go and uh, I guess retreat and, 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 you know, get rest and shelter. All right, and boom. Wow, we got a pathway, a foil borderless pathway. Look at that. We have Pillar Verge on the other side and Needle Verge on this side. And these are just some of the most amazing arts and they're shiny and they're so cool. Oh. We already opened a non-foil version, and now we got a foil version to boot. Okay, and we'll keep going. Once again, I hope you guys who are watching, who are, you know, going like, oh, this is so slow. Watch it at 2x speed, maybe. Maybe that'll be fast enough. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Here we have a Grack Maw Skyclave Ravager. Look at that. Look at it ravaging. Um, this was kind of a scary card. It's a very solid card. It's a very strong card and it's also two different colors and it is legendary. So just schnazzy schnazzy. Here we have a little crag plate Bailoff. Right, he's just kind of doing Bailoff things. Bailoffs are these just big ginormous beasts in this world. And here we have something interesting with a Scythe Cat. Scythe Cats are very special to the world of Zendikar and you can see here that uh, the reason why they're Scythe Cats is because they have these scythes. They're basically attached to their arms. Very, very scary. You don't want to deal with those. Oh, we have another pathway. This is definitely a fan favorite. A lot of people consider this their favorite pathway, especially this side of the art, the lava glide side. Look at that, guys. Look how cool that looks. Oh, man. Really excited to open another pathway. And, ooh, we have a Scourge of the Skyclaves. At this time, this card is relatively worth um, sorry, relatively valuable. It is a mythic and also this is the extended art frame of it. So um, These are exclusive to these collector boosters Just a nice little pull in general. All right And look at that. We have a cute cat token. I wonder if you'll be a cat person or a dog person miles I'm a cat person and I really enjoy this art, but I wouldn't you know take any offense if you became a dog person though 
There are more dog people in this world, I am pretty sure. Ah, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. All right, and on to the next pack. Here we go. So I kind of just blistered through that, but each of these cards just has impeccable art. I'm a big fan of this vine gecko. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A little cool little, little lizard, an elemental lizard, full of, made of energy and mana. And this island, look at that iron, that frame. All right. Wow, we have another mythic here. Once again, I can tell because that's orange. A Shia Soul of the Wild. All right. Ooh, we have a creepy beast, just in time for Halloween. Wayward guide beast. We have a Legac, an Ox, a Scoot Swarm. This card was seeing a lot of play on the Magic Online MTG Arena format of this game. I call it the Cute Swarm because I just blocked the S. Um, just because it could get out of hand really quickly with this card. Once again, it does have Landfall and is this Showcase Frame. And now, as our final I got a little token here as well. We have an Andu inversion, so this is also a land spell. The other side is Andu Sky Runes. Alright. Just a gorgeous card. Just a gorgeous card. Okay, on to the next pack. Alright, here we go. Scavenge Blade. This was a world of uh, you know exploring and having to have scavenge blades and other type of weapons. So you know, not not get eaten up by all the wayward guide beasts and other monsters, you know? Maul of the Skyclaves, this is such a cool rare. All right, an inscription of insight. So part of the series of uh, spells from each color, except for white, that have these inscriptions that, you know, there's spells that can do a lot of cool things if you also play the kicker. Here we go. We have another pathway, we're four of five. This is Bright Climb Pathway, Grim Climb Pathway. Also a huge fan favorite. A lot of people like this pathway as well for just how cool the art is. Look at that. Look at that art. All right. And yes, so we were waiting for one of these. This is what we call an expedition. So we've already opened a couple expeditions. All right. You can tell they're expeditions because it says Z and E, Zendikar Expeditions. But these collector boxes or packs are especially known for the foil variant of them, which are exclusive to these collector packs. So that is super cool that we finally pulled one. This is Black Cleave Cliffs. Not exactly the most valuable one, but super nice that we did get one. All right, on to the next pack. Can we get another foil expedition? That would be excellent. More than excellent, that would be great. We have a chilling trap. Of course, this world also had a lot of traps and Blood Beckoning, now that's just a creepy Halloween card. Cleansing Wildfire, this card was actually worth over a dollar for a long period of time, which for a foil common in this age and era is a big deal. Tadru Skycaster, look at him. He's throwing a little net. And Deadly Alliance, that's what happens when you don't make the right friends. Concerted Defense, all right. Cinder Clasm, all right, things are burning. And we have a forest, look at how cool this forest art is. And a maddening cacophony. So Uncle Michael didn't want me to mention that he does prefer colors like green and blue and he doesn't mind people willing by milling. Milling is a new mechanic that was recently uh, this keyword was made and all it means is you know taking the top cards of your opponent's deck and putting them into the graveyard and if your opponent when he attempts to draw has no cards left in his deck well he loses and maddening cacophony is one of those things that sets that up. All right, we have another pathway here, a Needle Verge and Pillar Verge, all right. We did get the full art or the borderless art frame of this. So here's a comparison. Okay, they're both really cool arts. All right, look at that, Pillar Verge. And actually, this is my first time really analyzing Needle Verge pathway. This is the art on one of the boosters, the set boosters. That's really cool. And I love how this person is just peering onto the horizon. I would buy a playmat. I'm surprised they don't have a playmat of that available, actually. All right, here we go. We have a Dreadworm, we have a Pickaxe, and this is the iconic card of the set, Omnath, the Locus of Creation. Um, one of the reasons why it's so special is, well, Omnath has been part of this world for a while, and every single time he gets reprinted into these new sets, he adds an extra color, and, and now he has four colors. And also, if you are 
play in competitive formats in this day and age. Omneth is one of the most played cards right now. You'll see it everywhere. And boom! We got a Foil Kenyan Derby! Um, we will be signing these. Uh, Uncle Suremba asked me to sign them and, and Leslie, my wife, to sign them. So we'll do that at the end of this video. I'm going to put that to the side. Alright. And we have a coveted prize Foil Extended Art Rare. Okay. And this is just, you know... This is the era of adventure. These guys are trying to grab onto the prize they all, I don't know, went hunting for. Went questing for. Alright. And now we have another pack. Adventure awaits, as I mentioned. It is an adventure set. Here we have a <laughs> goblin that's crushing a bug. And... Whoa! This is the world, once again, of exploration. So look at how cool this world is. Wouldn't you want to explore a world like that? As long as you, you know, were safe and potentially protected. Oh, so here we have a little double here. Nighthawk Scavenger. We can a little compare the the size difference of the extended art frame and just a standard art frame. Look at that. All right. Here we have a canopy bail off. We've seen a couple of those. And another Canyon Jerby! Or Jerboa, but I call them Canyon Jerbies. These are just so cute, these little mice. All right. All right got a foil and a non-foil. And a Needle Verge Pathway non-foil. So at this point, we are really far in collecting all of the uh, pathways. There are six uh, pathway arts. So there we have it. And a Nahiri's Olitho forming. Alright. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Here we go. We have two more packs remaining. We've opened two derbies. We've gotten one foil expedition. We've gotten a lot of pathways. Let's see what else we can get. Here we have Roiling Regrowth. Alright. We have a Sure-Footed Infiltrator. A Swamp. Really cool foiling. We have a Skyclave Relic, which is just kind of this uh, artifact that produces mana. Squad Commander. The McKinney Ox. Another Scythe Cat. Phylath World Sculptor. Look at that. Look at this guy. He's an elemental that produces little plants and then makes them stronger. Alright, and we have a Cassandra Nectar Pot. Look how cute that is. And a Myriad Construct Foil Extended Art Rare. We've seen that card before. It's kind of like a little robot. Who shoots out little robots. Alright. The last pack, Miles. Hopefully you've been enjoying this video. Everyone, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video as well. Just a different take on our usual box openings and box breaks. And here we go. We have a Hagra Molly. So this is one of the flip cards. Alright. Hagra Brood Pit. And <laughs> a Kazana Mammoth. The reason I know it's a flip card is because of that little thing right there telling me that, boom, look, there's a land on the other side. All right, the Nectar Pot, the Squid, another Kazano Mammoth. So here's a cool comparison. This is the standard frame, and this is the showcase frame. All right, and of course, they both have the back like that. All right, we have a Squid, and please, let's end on a Foil Expedition. We did. Valakit. Molten Pinnacle Foil Expedition. To end things off, this is of course a volcano in the world of Zendikar that is always active and uh, just a super cool card. I'm really glad we ended on a Foil Expedition. Alright, so let me go ahead, I've sleeved this up. Let me go ahead and make some space and I'm going to go ahead and sign these Canyon Jerboas. Leslie, if you're ready, come over here and help me sign one of these. We'll both go ahead and sign the foil. Leslie, do you want to use the gold color again? Sure. Okay. I'll use the silver. Okay. I'll sign it right here. And you want to sign it next right. to me, as usual? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I didn't do a great job, but... I think you can still see it. Yeah, I can still yeah. see it. That okay. looks like your signature. Okay. A little compact. Awesome. And I'll sign the other one uh, as requested. All right. So once again, I guess at this point, happy belated birthday, Miles. Thank you again, Uncle Sitremba, for sponsoring. And guys, I hope you had a good time watching this video. I will see you on the next one.